the Singapore government is supporting the nation's household by handing out cash in hand. Mm. It was announced on April the 6th that um, families will be helped through this challenging period um, fighting COVID-19. All adults, uh, Singaporeans, aged 21 and above, will receive 600 Singapore dollars or um, approximately 430 US dollars or 340 British pounds or 390 euros as a one-off payment. Singapore permanent residents and long-time pass holders will receive a one of 300 Singapore dollars as a solidarity uh, payment. No applications is needed for anyone. So if you are among the 90% of um, Singaporeans who have provided your bank account um, to the to the government for payouts in 2018 um, and your account is still active your solidarity payment of 600 Singapore dollars will be directly credited to your bank account on April the 14th the small remaining groups of Singaporeans who did not provide their bank details um, will receive a check mailed to their NRIC, which is um, the identity card, registered addresses. The $600 um, solidarity payment will be settled in stages beginning from April the 30th. So when I told my friends and family about the solidarity uh, payment by the government, um, most of them find it quite unbelievable. And the question that came back again and again was, how rich is Singapore actually? So I googled it. According to Google, um, Singapore ranks third um, if you search for 25 richest countries in the world. Um, and why is that? Singapore is an important shipping point connecting um, much of mainland Asia with the rest of the world. Um, Singapore's economy, which has a GNI per capita of 82,500 something, um, and it is one of the most business friendly um, places in the world. Now, on this list that I found of the 25 richest countries in the world, um, Switzerland ranks 11th, um, Austria ranks 19th, and Canada ranks 20th and France ranks 25th but USA, Germany and UK did not even make it on the list. Well in case you're not aware of it there are actually over 183,000 millionaires in Singapore and a thousand of them are super crazy rich. It's lunchtime in Singapore again and today I am going to share with you my dim sum. Yakko and yam cha. Table for one please. So a lot of us have had dim sum before and usually dim sum is not served for dinner. It is more a breakfast or lunch um, thing in Southeast Asia. Dim sum um, dates as far back as 1928 and the modern recipes that we know today um, were actually developed in Melbourne Chinatown by young entrepreneur William Wing Young. At the time he was developing food for his food processing company. Dim sum in Mandarin Dian Xin in Cantonese Dim sum means dot heart a dot on the heart. That brings you um, to imagine the small and dainty um, food that are made so delicate it touches your heart but it doesn't hit on your stomach. Okay let's get started. 
Um, first of all, let me show you or introduce to you um, the shrimp dumpling called hakao. This is um, traditional Cantonese um, cuisine. Um, it's filled with juicy shrimps and wrapped around this translucent um, skin made of wheat starch, tapioca starch and water. Yum yum. And next we have um, the radish cake or turnip cake. In Singapore we call it the carrot cake. This is made of shredded radish. There you go. Mm. This is made of shredded radish and a plain rice flour. And it contains dried shrimps, uh, shiitake mushrooms, Chinese sausages and scallions. Coming up next is the um, Sinha Fu Pei Gun, which is fried bean curd skin with shrimps. Um, tofu skin is um, actually the skin uh, on top, the skin formed on top of the fresh soy milk. There you go. Um, and it will be um, taken on from, from the top of the soy milk, set out to dry and then soaked in water to soften and then you can fry or steam it. This is the fried version. This is a crunchy, mouth-watering and yummy roll filled with shrimps. And here we have the cheng fan. Um, cheng fan. Um, this is like a rice uh, noodle roll and um, this version that I've chosen here is filled with um, cha siu, which is roasted pork. It's, um, it's like a thin crepe. And last but not least, here we have the Chinese congee, um, which is a warm and comforting um, rice porridge. This one, this version here is served with pork and um, century eggs. The, this is the century egg. Um, yes, it, it may not look as good on camera, but it's, it's very, very delicious. Um, the version filled with century um, eggs and pork makes this a flavorful, savory dish. This is comfort food for me. For some, it's mac and cheese or chicken soup. For me, it's congee.